Many thanks to Job, DC Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. Once again, there are many changes and additions in this Daisy update, but this patch in particular detailing many hidden secrets and hints at a what's coming in the future of Daisy. So in this video, we're going to unravel the mysteries of the 27 must know changes of Daisy 1.18. Splitting these 27 epic changes into these four categories makes stuff much more organized, so we're going to start with the new items of Daisy 1.18 and what you should know about them. My favorite addition in this patch goes to the incredibly powerful M79 grenade launcher, spawning in military locations with its explosive rounds and smoke rounds too, but the gas rounds that come with this weapon only spawn in static gas zones. The explosive rounds will kill all of the stuff within 12 meters, including you, so be very, very careful when using this weapon, and the gas round sends a poisonous gas cloud through walls and floors up to 20 meters wide, which will last 6 minutes and is guaranteed death if you stay within it for 90 seconds. The smoke rounds last 40 seconds and bounce off of all surfaces in Daisy, coming in red, green, white and black, and seen up to 1000 meters away, so this is like a daytime flare gun. All of these rounds can travel up to 300 meters and the explosive and gas round can one shot kill just about anything up to around 100 meters if you can hit it. The very small derringer has been re-added and fires two single shot 357 rounds but is nowhere near as good as the magnum which is also found in towns too. The new plastic explosive is found inside industrial areas and requires the new detonator to arm it and once armed it will kill all living organisms within 20 meters and I believe this will be the go-to item for base raiding in Daisy, destroying a wall completely in two explosives. The Claymore mine is found in military areas and is incredibly deadly to players and requires no detonator as it spawns as a kit and gives you the detonator when you place it on the ground. The Claymore mine can kill up to 25 meters when deployed in a 90 degree cone and will KO anybody within 4 meters of it. This is also the case in the kit form but it's not as deadly, if you ruin the kit form it will KO all players within 4 meters. The new detonation unit spawns in industrial locations and is a one-time use item that can only be connected to one explosive at a time. It can be used to manually detonate up to 100 meters away or attached to the tripwire and when somebody trips that tripwire it will detonate it within 100 meters. This item can be used to disarm any explosive that requires a detonator to arm, giving you the full unit back and the explosive to reuse it. Once you used it will become useless as you no longer have the receiver to attach to an explosive but you can use the screwdriver on the trigger to get a battery. These two gas grenades can only be found in the very center of dynamic gas attack with two of them spawning each time and remaining in the center of the gas cloud even after the gas cloud disappears. These work exactly the same way that the gas round do that I mentioned earlier but will explode on contact with anything when you throw them. After placing the fireworks launcher you will need a lighter to ignite it and the fireworks launcher will last one minute firing a rocket every five seconds and cannot be used to raid bases with and cannot be used below any object. You can now craft the sword off blaze with the hacksaw which still allows the hunting optic to be attached. Doing this will gimp its stats significantly so it's not really worth sawing off unless you want to look like a pirate. Sawing off the revolver or the magnum is also possible now, increasing its recoil by 50%, reducing its damage and in general just gimping it too. However, it becomes 40% lighter when sawn off and is half the size. The improvised explosive is crafted using the protector case and electronic repair kit and like the detonator required to arm it, is a one time use item. You can place all of these explosives inside these two slots allowing for an incredible 81 different combinations which can then be combined with a tripwire to create super traps that can instantly kill or seriously main players. However, this item cannot be placed in your hands or inside any inventory slots anywhere and if it becomes ruined it won't detonate. Otherwise known as the IED, it can also be triggered by the kitchen timer and the alarm clock when the alarm goes off. There are many, many new armbands now due to being able to craft the armbands from flags and the flag pattern will stay on the armband. If you want to learn all about the designs, you can do so in this video that I've made. Also, the raincoat armbands have changed slightly too. Around three new train wrecks can be found dynamically across the rails of DayZ that are custom to each location. These rare spawns will spawn loot based on the tier that you find them in with the trains further west on the Cherneris map appearing to spawn more military carriages behind them, which is the carriages you want because they are stuffed full of military loot. These trains also have tier specific loot on the front of the train and if the train spawns with these gas tank carriages, there's loot on top of them too. 
All three types of the gas canister can now explode inflicting 15 health damage and a huge 60 shock damage to players and will also detonate inside your inventory if you're shot too so be careful when carrying this item. The small, medium and large are all the exact same but an empty canister will not explode and nor will the gasoline canister. You can now assign keybinds to any of the gesture animations with the keybinds showing on the radial wheel which is still in the game. Using these keybinds you can play rock, paper, scissors easier because you can now assign keys to paper, rock or scissors. With the addition of the M79 projectile tech this patch, feathers being in the game code for skinning chickens that I mentioned a long time ago, and with the sharp wooden stick in this patch being renamed to the sharp long wooden stick, which means that they're going to add a sharp small wooden stick. It is likely that we will see the crossbow or the bow added in Daisy very soon, as all of the ingredients are there now, but that's just a game theory. The map will now display the location of all military areas written in red so you can find them much easier and also you can see the location of all the hunting stands across the map too, making maps great for improving military or hunting gear loot routes. Base walls, fences and frames now take a lot less damage from explosions in this patch of which you can learn more about here but basically it will now take twice as much damage from explosives so 12 grenades instead of 5 but bullet damage is exactly the same against walls. Items used in cooking will now take 0.07 durability damage per second instead of 0.125. This means the cooking pot will last 47 minutes from pristine to ruined, the cooking stand 35 minutes and the tripod 2 hours. Sharpened sticks will now have a very, very high chance to cause bleeding on other players but do a lot less damage than the spear does and also the spear cannot be used to cook food. The change in alignment of the weapons on the shoulder slots of players makes it so that magazines no longer clip through the player's arms or under their shoulders and lights that are switched on on the weapons won't point straight up. Using the power of daisy logic in this patch these lights will now point forward to light your way much like the head torch does. Now I know this doesn't make any sense but I don't care because I love this addition. Fireplaces now become extinguished extremely quickly again once it rains or when you pour water on the fire and brooms got a fiery new texture on them with attention to detail going on brooms that were previously lit. However, the torches or the brooms are still very waterproof. When cooking with fat it will no longer reduce the nutritional value of the food that you're cooking but the fat gets heavily consumed when cooking and the food will burn very quickly after too so it's not really worth it still. To avoid this you can cook with a sharpened stick however in this patch cooking with a sharpened stick removes the same amount of nutritional value that cooking with the cooking pot does when using no fat or water. Rip stick. Landmines in the last patch didn't detonate when shot, now they do, so when they become ruined they will explode and if you disarm one with a screwdriver or a lockpick you can actually reuse the landmine now, this was not possible before, it would get ruined before, now you can pick up the landmine and use it against the person that placed it there. These lesser field HESCO barriers can thankfully no longer be shot through in this patch, hooray, and this red house now has the correct surfaces on it so it can no longer be shot through either. The BK-18 can no longer become jammed at all, even the sword off version cannot become jammed so it will go all the way to ruin before it can't be fired. Grenades will no longer cause bleeding of any kind if you are hit by one, even without any protection at all, including the new explosive round for the grenade launcher. And finally, the walkie talkie now weighs 250 grams instead of 750 grams and the big transmitter now weighs 10 kilograms instead of 14.5. If you watched this entire video, you are now a master of Daisy update 1.18. Well done. Give yourself a like using the like button below. You earned it, my friend. But if you want to learn more about the finer details of how this update has changed Daisy, and there are a lot of details, here is a playlist of all of the videos that I've made for 1.18 so far. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good patch.